How long have you actually been flying? When did you first solo? How many years have I been flying? Well, I started at uh, 16, and uh, I was an accomplished pilot uh, during aerobatics before I was 18. I joined their service because I really wanted to fly a military aircraft, and uh, that was the best way to go. And I, I knew about the storm clouds over Europe and anticipated that we would be engaged in that war eventually. So as soon as I had the opportunity, uh, I, I signed up. But they would not let you go to flight training unless you were 21 and had two years of college. And uh, I was only 18. But once I joined the Air Guard, I now made enough money to really get to fly some much bigger airplanes than the small Taylor Cubs. And, and little airplanes I had flown. But uh, I worked very hard as a teenager to get that money to learn to fly. And my parents didn't have any idea I was flying and I had solo and I could, they wouldn't even let me, let me drive the car. But uh, they lowered the age to 18. And at that time I was 19 for flight training. And I was in the Air Guard in the commander said, you met all of the qualifications. You don't have to go to flight training. You can become a pilot here with the guard. We'll commission you as a second lieutenant. And I was a sergeant by then. And uh, they, they were going to make you a sergeant pilot. It's not an officer, but a sergeant pilot. Uh, and so I said, well, sir, I appreciate that enormously. But from what I've read, uh, you, if you have that, ob that O on your the wings in the center, that would mean observation. That means you cannot fly against the enemy or in battle. And uh, can you give me an assignment to flight training now that it's legal to go? And he said, I certainly can. And uh, I went off to flight training. I wanted to be a fighter pilot from the day I first got interested in aviation. And, uh, that's how it all started, but I had to quit uh, after one of these accidents that uh, pretty much wiped me out, and uh, it was a long career. I don't have me counted up how many years, but from 1938 on. Aero TV is brought to you by Avidon sets a new standard for simplicity and safety with our all-new panel-mounted avionics stack. The IFT540 GPS Navcom features our award-winning FMS with an intuitive touchscreen user interface. Plus, it's a slide-in replacement for 530 series navigators, which reduces installation costs. The AMX240 is our new audio panel with intercom and Bluetooth music interface. And our AXP340 Mode-S transponder with ADS-B out is a slide-in replacement for existing KT-76A transponders. Add in our innovative DFC-90 series autopilot with flight envelope protection and you've got the most capable and easy-to-use avionics stack any pilot could ever need. Now you have a choice in the...